back like we never left what is good everybody today's video is long overdue because so many of you email me about a short i made a few months ago about the difference between going no contact and going zero dark 30. Now you already know how i get down i don't like to waste time and i'm ready to get into it so let's do that right saying nothing actually says the most but you're gonna need to decide are you going no contact with your ex after the breakup in order to win them back because clearly whatever has gotten you to this point you know the point where you are considering going no contact in the first place you realize that however Whatever that breakup ended, whatever extra effort you've been putting in, whatever long ass letters you've been writing to your ex, emotional ass text messages you've been sending, or just expressing your love through every single creative way you've been thinking, clearly is not working. So you choose silence. And you realize that this shit is hard, but nothing else is giving you the results of your ex coming back. And while you're going through and trying to be patient, you start taking steps to work on yourself so that if your ex does come back, that you are now a better version than your previous self. You You've given yourself the tools necessary as well to hopefully decide on when your ex does come back that you won't be as thirsty, as needy, or as eager to decide so quickly if this is even some shit that's a great decision for you. But, and this is a big ass but, if you are going zero dark 30, you are clearly making a decision that you're done with the bullshit, like all of it. So this means that even after weeks or months of no contact with your ex, it's over. It's a wrap. This is your opportunity to move on. You ain't even gonna give your ex anything other than a block and an ignore at any attempt they make to reach out to you. And clearly you made it to this point by feeling undervalued, not seen, appreciated, or just flat out disrespected. You know, like if your ex had already jumped into a new rebound relationship after being with you for years, like you understanding that you've been feening over somebody who clearly doesn't give a fuck about you and the progress you're making in order to be something, you honestly shouldn't have to be. And think about that for a second. All these changes and shit that you're trying to make, the effort and the work that you're putting in and it don't mean jack shit to the person who's supposed to love you spend the rest of their life with you nah nah this shit shouldn't sit right with your spirit so choose and make a decision that is not only going to prioritize you growing into a better version of you but something that will allow you to mature enough to see those red flags that you missed the one-sided relationship you were potentially in the inconsistent behavior you likely kept justifying because you loved your ex were you settling were you being treated as someone who is a priority Already? Or were you just a side hustle that they decided to do the bare minimum with because they were comfortable having you around to support them emotionally? Because if you were, I think you know and understand that going zero dark 30 is not even an option. It's a must in order for you to heal, grow, and to move on to a new and exciting journey that will lead you to somebody who will appreciate, love, value, and respect you more than your ex ever fucking could. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in and checking out this video today. If you're new to the channel, come official to the squad. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom and join a team that will always push you towards personal greatness. I'll be back soon with another new video, but in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.